Have you ever wanted a super sense? Like, say, X-ray vision? Discover that some animals already have superpowers of perception. As we count down the top 10 super senses in the animal kingdom. You don't have to be a psychic to know what happens when the senses are taken to the most extreme. Earth is a planet of extremes. Extreme places. And extreme animals. But some animals are more extreme than others. Join us as we count down to find the most unusual and the most extraordinary on animal planets the most extreme. Number two. The next contender can be found in tropical waters around the world. Meet the mantis shrimp. It's number two in the countdown because it has the most amazing eyes on the planet as Dr. Shane Ayong from the Australian Museum explains. Vision in the mantis shrimp is um, extraordinarily developed. Each eye is constructed in such a way that it has binocular vision. So if it loses an eye, it can still see with binocular vision. It's so good that they seem to be able to recognize individuals. They seem to recognize the person who feeds them and the person who, who they've never seen before. The mantis shrimp is number two in the countdown because its eyes have 16 visual pigments compared to our three. And that's how it can scan for all colors, including ultraviolet and polarized light invisible to us. And when it detects something edible, it lines up those scanning lines like the crosshairs of a gun sight. So why does the shrimp need such extreme vision? When we watch the shrimp hunting, our massive brains are processing the information and building up our mental picture of the scene. In the mantis shrimp, however, all that processing of visual information occurs inside the eye itself because the shrimp's brain is just too small to cope. Imagine if you could see like a mantis shrimp. Are you all right? It's like a splitting of the world. More light than I've ever seen. Filled with light. A doctor with a power to see what others cannot believe. Today, you don't need eye drops to see the unbelievable. All it takes is a visit to Guy Coggins at San Francisco's Aura Imaging Systems. Guy's developed an optical electrical system that he claims lets you see your own aura, the radiance from the energy field that supposedly emanates from all living things. I'll show you the sensor box, which actually measures the electrical field from many different acupuncture points simultaneously, plus temperature and a few other things. So you can just go ahead and place your hand in the box. And these colors will be reflected around you as light and color. In just a second, you're sort of stabilized, and you've got your greens here. Your greens seem to be your resonant color, and green would be the color that you'd be almost all the time, unless you went through some tremendous change. Green is persistence, self-assertion, self-esteem, um, healing, stick to it, it is hard working. And you have uh, some yellow coming up here for um, intellectual capacity. And you've got the blue on this side, which is um, clear communication. And that part of you is which is being expressed at this point. 
your red people tend to be incredibly active, sports-minded. Your yellower people tend to be a little bit more intellectual. Greens were the hard-working, the pillars of society. Your blue regions, um, they're a little bit more theoretical. The purples tend to be sort of out on the edge, a little spacey. Comet. Okay, now we're going to take Comet's aura photo. So you just put, just put Comet over there and have his paws on the special doggy sensor. And we'll take his picture in just a second. Okay, Comet, we'll take your picture. Hold it. Hold it. Okay. Okay, here's Comet's photo. Okay. Now that is a laid-back dog. <laughs> just going... You don't see many blues and greens and whites. Who knows? If we had eyes like the mantis shrimp, maybe we could all see our auras. <laughs>